Assalamu alaikum class this is your course in charge here of Shah and uh, today I am here with the new lab demonstration on the topic respiratory system in lungs um, we have already completed the uh, types uh, muscles and its types and we have already completed the tissues uh, including the epithelial connective tissue cartilages specialized connected uh, specialized connective tissue etc uh, now we are going to start our uh, new section uh, to study the systems of the body uh, I am starting with the uh, system uh, that is known as the respiratory system uh, and uh, lungs and um, today our object is to study the respiratory system and lungs so basically the respiratory system consists of the nasal cavity nostrils pharynx larynx trachea right lung left lung uh, this is uh, the diagrammatic presentation of the respiratory system uh, now i am starting it uh, with the introduction of the respiratory system the respiratory system consists of all the organs involved in the breathing and these organs help in the breathing and uh, the respiratory tract is divided into two upper airways and the lower airways the upper airways or the upper respiratory tract uh, includes the nose nasal passages paranasal sinuses the pharynx and the portion of the larynx above the vocal cords or the vocal folds uh, and the lower respiratory system consists of the portion of the larynx below the vocal cords and the trachea, bronchi and the bronchioles. <coughs> and the lungs can be divided, uh, can be included in the lower respiratory tract or uh, as a separate entity uh, which include the respiratory bronchioles and the alveolar ducts and the alveolar sacs and the alveoli. So basically the respiratory system is divided into two upper respiratory system uh, or the upper respiratory tract and the lower respiratory tract. Upper respiratory tract consists of the nose, nasal passages, paranasal sinuses, pharynx, vocal cords and the portion of the larynx. And uh, the, lo uh, the lower respiratory tract uh, consists of the uh, larynx below the vocal cords and the uh, trachea, bronchi and bronchioles and uh, we can also include the lungs uh, in the lower respiratory uh, tract but we can also uh, uh, take it as a separate entity uh, and uh, the lungs also include the respiratory bronchioles, alveolar ducts, alveolar sacs and the alveoli. Now, uh, I am going to start with the introduction of the upper respiratory tract. The upper respiratory tract composed of the nose, the pharynx and the larynx and the organs of the upper respiratory tract are located outside the chest cavity. So uh, they are classified as the upper respiratory tract and the nasal cavity is inside the nose and the sticky mucous membrane lining the nasal cavity traps the dust particles and tiny hair called the cilia helps to move them to the nose. Uh, which can be sneezed or blow out so and the part of the upper respiratory tract that is the sinus or the sinuses they these are the air filled spaces um, along uh, side of the nose and it helped to make the skull lighter and uh, then the pharynx pharynx uh, uh, both food and air can pass through the pharynx and uh, before reaching uh, to their uh, the digestive tract so the pharynx also plays the role in speech and then the larynx the larynx uh, is essential uh, to human speech uh, now the uh, now i'm going to start with the introduction of the lower respiratory tract the lower respiratory tract is consists of the trachea the lungs and all segments of the bronchial tree including the alveoli the organs of the lower respiratory uh, tract uh, are located inside the chest cavity so they are known as the lower respiratory tract 
the uh, trachea is uh, the part of the lower respiratory tract which is located just below the larynx and the trachea is the main airway to the lungs then the lungs together the lungs form one of the body's largest organ and they are responsible for providing the oxygen to the capillaries and uh, uh, and to providing the oxygen to the blood and exhaling the carbon dioxide from it and then the bronchi which is also the part of the lower respiratory tract uh, the bronchi branch from the trachea into each lung and create a network uh, of passages uh, that supply the air to the lungs and uh, then the diaphragm diaphragm is the main respiratory muscle that contracts and relaxes to allow the air into the lungs So this is the lung structure uh, and uh, you can see here this is the trachea and then trachea is branched into a bronchi and bronchi is further divided into bronchioles I will further discuss it, discuss it in further slides and this is the right lung this is the left lung and this is the these are the lobes horizontal uh, superior lobe and then the middle lobe and the inferior lobe I will discuss it later then the left lung which has superior lobe and inferior lobe and these are the fissures which separate these lobes from each other so I am starting with the uh, lungs structure the lungs are uh, roughly cone shaped structure and with an apex base and three surfaces and three borders here you can see the apex the left lung is slightly smaller than the right and this is due to the presence of the heart and the, each lung consists of the apex the apex what is apex the apex is the blunt super, superior end of the lung and it projects upward and above the level of the first rib and into the floor of the neck here you can see the apex in this diagram now uh, base the base is the inferior surface of the lung which sits on the diagram this is the base <coughs> then the lobes lobes are two or three in number and they are separated by the fissures within the lungs here you can see the right lung has three lobes superior lobe middle lobe and inferior lobe and these are divided by with the help of the fissures the horizontal fissure and then the oblique fissure in case of the right lung and then the left lung has two lobes uh, superior lobe and the inferior lobe and it is divided by the one fissure which is known as the oblique fissure then the surfaces lung has three surfaces and they correspond to the area of the thorax that they face and they are named as the coastal uh, mediastinal and the diaphragmatic Uh, then the lungs has the three borders the borders are the edges of the lung they are named as anterior inferior and the posterior borders then there are three uh, lobes uh, of the uh, right lung and uh, the, um, I have already uh, defined you in the diagram that they are superior middle and inferior and these lobes uh, are divided from each other by the help of the two fissures oblique fissure and the horizontal fissure oblique fissure runs from the inferior border of the lung in a supra posterior direction until it meets the posterior lung border and the horizontal fissure uh, runs horizontally from the sternum at the level of the fourth rib to meet the oblique fissure <coughs> the left lung is uh, uh, the left lung contain two lobes in superior lobe and inferior lobe which are separated by uh, a one fissure that is known as the oblique fissure here you can see it the right lung 
<coughs> right lung has horizontal fissure and then the oblique fissure and this is the superior lobe inferior lobe and the uh, inferior lobe superior lobe and the middle lobe and this is the left lung which is uh, divided the two lobes are divided by the oblique fissure and uh, <coughs> this is the superior lobe and this is the inferior lobe now comes to the surfaces <coughs> the there are three lung surfaces uh, each uh, correspond to the area of the thorax number one is the mediastinal surface of the lung which faces the lateral aspect of the middle mediastinum and the lung helium where the surfaces enter and leave the lungs is located on this surface this is the helium helium is the part where the structure enter and leave the lung and the, uh, and it is this <coughs> uh, the lung helium is located on the mediastinal surface and then the base of the uh, lung is formed by the diaphragmatic surface it rests on the doom of the diagram uh, diaphragm and has a concave shape and this concavity is deeper in the right lung due to the higher position of the right dome overlying the liver and then the coastal surface the coastal surface is smooth and convex and it faces the internal surface and the chest wall and it is related to the coastal pleura which separates it from the ribs and innermost intercoastal muscles then comes to the borders the uh, lung has three borders anterior border uh, of the lung is formed by the uh, convergence of the mediastinal and coastal surface on the left lung uh, the anterior border is marked by a deep notch created by the apex of the heart and it is known as the cardiac notch uh, then the inferior border the inferior border separates the base of the lung from the coastal and the mediastinal surface and then the posterior border which is a smooth and rounded and in contrast to the anterior and inferior border which are sharp uh, this posterior border is formed by the coastal and the mediastinal surfaces meeting posteriorly then comes to the root and helium the lung root is a collection of structure <coughs> that suspend the lung from the mediastinum and each root contain a bronchus pulmonary artery and two pulmonary veins bronchial vessels bronchial pulmonary plaques fluxes of the nerves and all lymphatic and lymphatic vessels so all these structure enter or leave the lung via the helium uh, and uh, which is a wedge shape wedge shape area on its uh, mediastinal surface here you can see the surfaces and borders this is the apex of the lung this is the anterior border and this is the inferior border the posterior border is behind the these lungs now comes to the surfaces these are the coastal surfaces these are the mediastinal surfaces here you can see the three borders first i am going to describe you the borders this these are the anterior borders these are the inferior borders and these are the posterior borders in this diagram now comes to the surfaces this is the coastal surface this is the mediastinal surface and <clears throat> this is the diaphragmatic surface
This is the diagram of the left lung. Here you can see the apex, the upper lobe, coastal surface, oblique fissure, lower lobe and the base. And this is the cardiac notch and this is the medial surface. Now uh, I am going to discuss the bronchi of the lungs. There is a bronchial tree in the lungs which is a series of passages that supply air to the alveoli of the lungs. And it begins with the trachea which divides into left and the right bronchus. And then each bronchus enters the root of the lungs passing through the helium. And then <coughs> the each uh, bronchus enters to the lungs through the point which is known as the helium. And inside the lungs, they divide it into a lobar bronchi and the one supplying each lobe. And then each lobar, <coughs> they divide to form a lobar bronchi uh, which supply the uh, uh, blood to the, which supply the air to one each lobe. The each lobar bronchus uh, then further divided into several tertiary, tertiary segmental bronchi. Uh, each segmental bronchus provide air to the bronchopulmonary segment and these are the functional units of the lungs. <coughs> the segmental bronchi uh, give rise to many conducting uh, bronchioles which eventually lead into the terminal bronchioles. Each terminal bronchiole gives off the respiratory bronchioles which feature thin walled out pocketing that extend from their lumens. So these are the alveoli uh, which are the sites of the gaseous exchange. Here you can see it. This is the trachea. The trachea divide into bronchus and then they are further divided into bronchiole and these are the terminal bronchiole. This is the right bronchus. <coughs> then the bronchus is further divided into bronchioles and then the terminal bronchioles and this uh, bronchiole which enters the uh, lobe is known as the lobar bronchus. This is the segmental bronchus and then they further divide into ba air bags which are known as the alveolar sacs or these are the ducts, alveolar ducts <coughs> and the same structure are present in both lungs uh, so for simplicity they have only labeled the one uh, side of the lung. <coughs> Uh, this is the uh, bronchial tree of the lungs and you can see the trachea then the trachea is divided into primary bronchi or bronchus and then this further divided into secondary bronchi then tertiary bronchi and then the bronchioles and this is the cardiac notch. And this cardiac notch has pulmonary vein, alveoli, alveolar ducts and a pulmonary artery. Now come to the vasculature. Uh, the lungs are supplied with the deoxygenated blood by the paired pulmonary arteries and once the blood has received oxygenation it receives the lungs via four pulmonary veins. <coughs> Two for each lung. So the bronchi, lung root and visceral pleura and supporting lung tissues require, uh, require an extra nutrition blood supply. So this is delivered by the bronchial arteries which arise from the descending aorta. The bronchial vein provides the venous drainage and uh, the right bronchial vein drains the uh, azygous vein whilst the left drains into the accessory hemizygous vein. This is the lung's anatomical features, apex, right lung, left lung, base, 
लोब सुपीरियर लोब मिडल लोब इन्फीरियर लोब हॉरिजोंटल फिशर ऑब्लिक फिशर विच सेपरेट दीज लोब्स दैन द हीलीम फ्राम विच द ब्रोंकस और द पास थ्रू द लंग्स and this is the superior lobe of the left lung and the inferior lobe of the left lung and this is the oblique fissure which separates these two lobes and this is the cardiac notch and this base rest on the diaphragm thank you this is all about the lungs and the respiratory system uh, If you have any questions you can ask me through WhatsApp group thank you